Marquise, with those words that I ask you now, will you take this woman whose hands you now hold? Well, imagine if all you had to do for your wedding was just show up. The 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins was at Valley High less than two hours ago as the 500th military couple eloped for free. And here is the happy couple right now. One woman showed up earlier today to thank the husband and wife behind it for her wedding last week. When you're a little girl and you dream of having that big fancy wedding and wearing that big princess dress. Concepcion Sosa's fairy tale started off like Cinderella's early days. It was not the most uh, romantic way. <laughs> she was on her knees scrubbing the toilet when Stefano walked in the bathroom to pop the question. Yeah, with like gloves and yeah. So she needed a special ceremony, but she wasn't just worried about being a Navy wife. The price just is humongous. She has five kids from a previous marriage. Then she found vows from the Heart Ministries and eloped to San Diego. I wanted to be a Marine. I was, I was a jarhead since birth. But Christopher Tuttle had a vision problem, so he became a reverend. There was this moment when I realized if I can't grab a weapon and stand a post beside the men that I wanted to be, let me serve them. He helped a Marine get married at the last minute in 2007, and so started Military Mondays. Knowing that there's people like them giving back to the military is something incredible. It was everything she wanted without the stress or the cost. Kind of like a Romeo and Juliet, you know, run away, get married. But you get to have forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's with her Prince Charming. Anything that he says, I'm like, ah. <laughs> Hannah Mullins, 10 News. And Hannah tells us that they estimate services donated to date right now run about $400,000. Wow.